I mean, of course, you say you don't want to hear that. I don't that want to hear that. that. That's an easy way out. Yeah, but we all know that um, markets will always fluctuate. I mean, that's traditional. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that one. There will be period of market expansion, and there will be period when markets will come down. Markets can be bearish. It can have some correction, depending on uh, the mood of the investors, depending on demand and supply, depending on liquidity uh, in the system. So a lot of factors affect the market. Also, depends on the expectation of investors and even of traders, especially as concern how the economy will do, uh, what are the political risks, what are the currency risk issues. Uh, 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 there are quite a number of issues where the market can move up and down. And there are also activities of traders who probably speculate on things and then uh, give a lot of information for people to behave in a particular way. But, but what is important is that um, uh, beyond short-term fluctuations of the market, one will also be interested in what is the long-term trend of the market. Uh, are we going to see something that will expand? Are we on a uh, on an expansion trend? Even though markets can come up and down in the short run time, and it's, it's usually expected. So th this time around, uh, you you have some foreign investors that have divested. Uh, if you look at the number that came in in May uh, from the Nigeria Stock Exchange, about 132 billion. Um, foreign investor outflow, mm. why you have, I mean, half of that in terms of inflow uh, for that month. So uh, sometimes also, if you look at the activities of foreign investors in the market, which is about 45 to 49 or 50 percent, that also determines a lot of things in the market. Uh, they have their many factors. They, they consider what is happening globally. They consider what is happening in the U.S., interest rates, whether I can place my money somewhere else. They also look at their... Um, um, well, portfolio rebalancing, they have their own specific mm -hmm. time and things they are looking at. They be very useful, but there are times they also have to sell and take some gains and things like that. So there are many factors where the market can move up and down. Of course, some people are saying maybe people are expecting politics or 2019 or something, but in my own opinion, I say, is that not too heavy for, for mm. that? So uh, you, you can, the market can still bounce back, definitely. There will still be a lot of more fluctuations. Things can still move up. And it's so it's always happened in the market, it's traditional.